you shoot the dice. This is a four one triple D connection. Scared money never made shit. Leave out on the track. In these streets, fuck around and lose your life. Real life street stars. Uh. We're here with Young Thug and King Dix, man. What's going down? What's up with it, man? What's going down? I know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, everybody know me as Young Thug, man, but you know what I'm talking about? Nigga didn't revamp, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? My name, now you thugging now, man. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, man. Now you thugging. Yeah, man, I'm going. Let me, hold on, let me bring it back for you one more time, then, man. <laughs> Real life street stars. Yeah, we yeah. in here with now you thugging. Oh. And King Dex, what's going down, man? Where you been? Oh man, you know. Here and there, you know. <laughs> Had to go sit out for a little minute. I'm back though, you know what I'm saying? Uh hit the ground running, I ain't stopping, man. You know what I'm talking about? Uh ready, man. And uh for those uh those watching, let them know uh little background information. Oh man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Your history. Uh, I'm on my way to becoming a legendary producer, man. Uh, really responsible for a lot of sound coming out of Dallas, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I work from everybody, man. From Pookie and Lucci, T Cash, Mo3, Go Yayo, uh, King Dix, Bushy. Uh, everybody, man. Just really anybody that them damn near passed you a goddamn CD out and say they from Dallas done, done fuck with me, man. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, really? Where you come up with the concept of now you thugging? Shit, uh, that shit came by accident, really, on the cool. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, I used to uh, be in the studio by myself all the time because, you know what I'm saying, I, can, I was a producer, but I started out being an artist, you know what I'm saying? So I used to be my own engineer. So when I would just be recording myself, I used to have to drag the beat some and give me some time to run from the uh, the mixer board yeah. to the booth, you know what I'm saying? So i say something before, you know what I'm saying, the beat come on, so that let me know that ah, I'm going to jump on the bitch, you know what I'm saying? So I just went in the booth and was like, Ty, let's not let bullshit, yeah, huh? Yeah. Now you thugging. And my little nigga YD, man, that's, you know what I'm saying, he passed away a couple of years ago, you know what I'm saying? He heard the song, like really it was on a song called Passenger Seat. And uh, he heard the song, was like, bitch, that need to be your tag right there. Yeah. I said, you know what? Hey, yeah, fuck it. So I started putting on all my beats and everybody, and really that was the favorite part of everybody, like uh, all the beats and everybody was like, bro, I need to tag on my shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. shit, man, that shit stuck, man. And like motherfuckers just stopped calling me young thugging. I get out the car somewhere, hey, now you're thugging. So yeah. it just stuck, man. So I'm riding with it, man. You know what I mean? Uh, really? You don't, you don't only produce, though. You yeah. rap. Yeah, I rap. That's what I came in the game doing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, what you who you came in the game rapping with? Uh, I came in the game rapping with my niggas off the block. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we started out as Team Texas. You know what I'm saying? And you know everybody in the streets got their own agenda, man. You know what I'm saying? So I had ended up going to the pen for a little minute and came home and and, and, and really was just taking the advice that all the OGs that was in that motherfucker was like, bro, you need to get out and do something. You know what I'm saying? For real, you got something, you know what I'm saying? So when I got out, that's what I was focused on. And it was like everybody's mind wasn't on the same level mine was on, you know what I'm saying? So I started fucking around and, and uh, ended up getting uh, signed to the uh, the uh, production company, Alive House, you know what I'm saying? That like right when a Bay Bay just dropped off and, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, Big Pop and them heads just jumped off. Man, I got signed to their production company. And shit, I started working with Everybody, like every, like everybody off Lava House, uh, Deron Jones from 112, I got a jam with him that I did way back then that ain't nobody even heard, but I'm finna put it on this new tape that's finna come out, you know what I'm saying, real soon, so y'all stay tuned for that, man. And I uh, I really was groomed by a, a, a West Coast OG, man, by the name of Sebo, man, like he, he came in and, 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 and really showed me how to step my work ethic up, my rhyme pattern and shit like that, man. Young Bleed too, you know what I'm saying? You said Sebo, huh? Yeah, man. The bow head nut. Bow head nut. The bow head nut. The man, bow man. Head nut. Shout out to Young Bleed too, man. Yeah, 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 man. Uh, I really still doing that thing too. Since you got out, um, how you feel about the Dallas music scene right now? Um, 
I I mean it's really been the same. I like I really want to go on that long. I was just gone a couple months, you know what I'm saying? But uh the Dallas scene right now, man, we really we really been having it, but ain't nobody capitalized on it, man. It's like uh I wanna say this the right way and don't offend nobody, but sometimes the truth is just the truth, man. Like we got a lot of flavor here, man. You know what I'm saying? We got a we we really trendsetters here, man. But we allow these major artists to come in and take what we got and take off with it, man. And, and that's that ain't what's up, man. It's like motherfuckers becoming groupies, man, to these niggas, man. It's cool to like a motherfucker for their craft or whatever, man. But you know what I'm saying? Don't let a motherfucker come take something that we didn't been through blood, sweat, and tears about. You know what I'm talking about? These motherfuckers out here done really done died behind this shit, man, that we out here living, man. You know what I'm talking about? So, for, like, let them know motherfucker come take that shine from us, man. It's like, you dis not only you disrespecting the city, bro, you disrespecting yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? So, really, that's where I'm at right now, man, putting that substance back into, to, you know what I'm saying, the city, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, when, if, like in my era, you know, I'm an 80s baby, so, like, in my era, growing up, music, man, we... We had some substance in the motherfucker. It's true enough, motherfuckers was talking about the same shit they talking about now, but it was like motherfuckers were letting you know like both sides of the game. And I'm gonna tell you a motherfucking artist who used to do that shit a lot. Master P. Master P used to talk about doing what he was doing in the street, but at the like that last verse I always gave you the motherfucking consequences too, you know what I'm saying? And that's why a lot of the motherfucking crime rate up here, you know what I'm saying? Cause these young niggas is just listening to What's being provided to them, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So that's why I'm coming in that man. Like I'm 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 finna change all this shit, man. And 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 and, and I got a group of motherfuckers, man, that's finna I'm talking about shake this motherfucker up, man. For real. Is there anybody else that you have that you like to make a beat for that you have? Marsha Ambrosius. You got an old lady. Hell nah. You want to do more than just make that beat for that motherfucker. God damn right. <laughs> that, that form motherfucker is. I had ass, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a beautiful woman to be, oh, man. Wow. <laughs> uh, speaking of artists, you turned me on to somebody. I was uh, in Motown. And uh, th every time I come fuck with Thuggin, man, Thuggin is, uh, is, uh, is a real live dude, man. He going to. Connect people who need to be connected. He connected me with uh, King Dex, man. We sat up in the in the parking lot, man. We watched some videos, and um, man, bro, you got some good shit, man. man uh, this the this the nigga right here. I'm man. telling you, man. Like this the nigga right here, and, and I want to give thanks to God first because he gave me this talent to be able to recognize this. You know what I'm saying? Like I had the talent to recognize a diamond in the rough. Yeah, and uh. It's been a couple of artists that I done seen and 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 and, and crafted and, and did that too. And Mo three one of them and and, and Gutter J is another one. You know what I'm saying? Like I seen that in a rough and like just got me a little paintbrush and brushed it off, man. Like they like they was already a star. I yeah. just had to and give them some game, man. And now look at them now, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it's a lot of it's a lot of artists careers that I done touched, man. You know what I'm saying? To really like. I'm really trying to solidify myself not only as an artist or a producer, but as a mogul, man, you know what I'm saying? Because I got the gift to do it. And uh, by me having, by me being a street nigga, I got the ties to do it, you know what I'm saying? Because like any, any nigga know, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm not one of them artists or producers that uh, call and talk to my manager. Hell nah, pull up, talk, pull up on me. I don't even want to email you no know, beats. Come pull up on me, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to pull up on you no matter where you at. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm going to pull up, man, because like, it's like this motherfucking social network and the technology is making motherfuckers real fake right now, man. You know what, uh, what I'm saying? And it really ain't that. It really ain't that. It's like the motherfucking... say that. It's like the motherfucking... Uh, it, it's like the motherfucking... Ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't nobody teaching these young niggas, man, how to... Be lawyer and stiff no more, man. You know what I'm saying? So by us being like the last breed of niggas that's doing it, we got to we got to save this generation, bro. Yeah, you know man. What I'm saying? I because the way the music is right now, the way this shit set up, man. Like it's like I'm not gonna stun on 
they are artists that's out right now doing their thing and making a lot of money. It, it's cool, do what you do, but it's more than music. Of, you know what I'm saying? Than getting high and balling, and because and, and, everybody not balling every day, bro. No, you feel me. Say everybody that. trap ain't motherfucking rolling every day, fam. You feel me? Real shit. You know what I'm saying? I want to fuck with the niggas that talk about when the trap slow. Talk about when uh 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 uh, uh the laws is steady circling this motherfucker, and, 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 and your okay, and, and, well. and your partner done went to jail, and you know what I'm saying? Now you gotta scrape everybody passing up on the bond money for the nigga. You know? Like niggas don't even do that no more. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm from Chicago, so it was like when I grew up. It was like unity, man. You know what I'm saying? If one of us caught a case and had to go sit down, my nigga, our mamas didn't want for shit. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas on the block and, or, or, or organizations you was part of, my nigga, uh, all pitched in every week and made sure your mama had was cool. You feel me? Niggas ain't, niggas, it's like niggas ain't built like that no more because a lot of these niggas that was in that era is either dead, locked up, or dope things. But it's still some of us still out here. You know what I'm saying? For real. So by us being entertainers we really powerful than a motherfucker man because these motherfuckers is really listening and doing what we saying doing you know what i'm saying and we we need to direct this shit somewhere else man we need to capitalize on dallas man let's create let's create a sound for dallas because it's like everybody who hot right now at this motherfucker sound like you done went to atlanta and got your goddamn cd made you know what I'm saying? And that ain't what's up, man. You know what I mean? We we the trendsetters, bro. These niggas is really capitalizing off of our culture. You know what I'm saying? Niggas been sipping drinks since for forever. Yeah. You feel me? When that shit would cheat. I'm talking about, I came down here. Cheat. I came down here in 99. And I was sipping bar in 99. You know what I'm saying? I done went from bar to activist to high tech. You feel me? Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm talking about, I've been sipping since deuces with $25 in the Pimento jar. You know what I'm saying? But you let motherfuckers come down here and take our swag for like, really on the cool, these niggas that y'all trying to be like, they come here and get rich, bro. They come here and get rich, bro. Yo, God can come down this bitch three, four times in two months. You know what I'm saying? Future come down here. Who, everybody come down here and get a bag, fam. You know what I'm talking about? Stop. Motherfuckers need to come on together, man. Stop letting these motherfuckers take off with our shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Now you thug. Get together, man. Like, and then there's a lot of street niggas who getting some real money right now. You know what I'm saying? The the thing that this city missing, bro, is a motherfucking underground label that's gonna take a hold of this shit and put these artists out right, fam. Like, ain't no. I'm talking about labels like how rap a lot was, no limit. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's what my goal is right now, man. It ain't even got to be a label, a coalition or something, man. You know what I'm saying? To bring all these motherfuckers together from North Dallas, South Dallas, East Dallas, West Dallas, and bring them together, man, and come on and get on the same motherfucking accord, man, and let's really go get this bag, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a bag out there for us to get, man. Just because this nigga make a million dollars don't mean you can't make no million dollars. It's just sitting and wait your turn, man. You know what I mean? Straight up. Um, a lot of artists would blame it on the DJs. What would you say about that? Man, it's not. It, it, some some of these DJs is some bitch ass niggas. I done had my altercations with some of them too, but it's the artists too, fam. These niggas is not making quality music. Like, the only thing that's going to set you aside, man, a hit record, you know what a hit record is? Tell them. A hit record is a sound that you ain't never heard. That's a hit record. You know what I'm saying? It's not a record that sound like the future song. It's not a record that got an Atlanta beat and you using they lingo. We don't say 12 here. We say the laws, nigga. You feel me? We don't say we sipping on activists. We say drink or lean. You feel me? Stick to our lingo, man. You know what I'm talking about? For real, bro. Hey, I just want to know from your perspective, do you think some of the artists in the city got what it take to really go to that level? They do, talent-wise, but they don't understand that this is called the music business. It's not called music friends or none of that shit. You know what I'm talking about? I don't understand how a nigga can go 
to Neiman Marcus and spend all this money on this motherfucking feet, but you a rapper, but you won't spend four, five hundred dollars on a motherfucking beat. Or uh, you'll come be like, well, shit, I can go uh, him to make this beat with. Man, look, let me tell you something. If you want to ride in a motherfucking Nissan, you're going to pay that Nissan money. You want to ride in the Benz, then come fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Cause <laughs> Shout out to Nissan. <laughs> 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 Nigga shit it on my vehicle, but um. <laughs> nah, 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 man, I, nah. I ain't mean no, I ain't mean no disrespect, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get to that business. I mean, one day. I mean niggas, niggas be, niggas be. It. <laughs> you got damn right, cause I. Cause I ride around in one of them bitches with a pocket full of motherfucking money with yeah. the gas, with the gas tank, with the gas light on. Yeah. You hear me? <laughs> For real. But, nah. uh, man, these niggas, <laughs> these niggas need to get their mind right, man, and uh, and uh, expand their motherfucking mind, man. You know what I'm saying? Like these niggas is like predictable rapping, bro. It's bro like, what what would you say is the biggest mistake that these artists are making from not your perspective? Together, not playing their motherfucking role. If all us in this motherfucking rap, and we a motherfucking crew. We all can't get on at the same time. But if we all together and we stay together, my nigga, as long as one of us get through that bitch and you in the position, you doing what you supposed to be doing, you doing what you supposed to be doing, you doing what you supposed to be doing. When he move, we all motherfucking move. So that's putting you in a position to get your shit popping somewhere else, my nigga. Dallas is not going, Dallas is a bad wagon city, bro. They not going to fuck with you not unless you on somewhere else, fam. Because I'm going to tell you, Dallas so small, you a regular nigga. Especially if you a nigga that's been getting some money, you a regular nigga. Ain't nobody finna come to your shows. Motherfuckers ain't finna book you and you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody finna give you five dollars for no motherfucking CD here. But let they but let your ass blow up about three, four other motherfucking states on goddamn way and you in regular rotation and them YouTube numbers and world star numbers, right? Then they gonna get on your dick, fam. Straight up. I'ma keep it all the way one hundred. The radio stations is not gonna do it. They not gonna do it. Not I no mean, more. I mean, I, I, it's, it's really, it, it's really what it is, my nigga. Cause all that motherfucking shit you hear on the radio, my nigga, that shit paid for, bro. Them, them motherfuckers is paid for. If, if, if you cut on the radio every day, and at three o'clock you hear a song, that, and you hear that same song at three o'clock, my nigga, them, them labels is paying that motherfucker, paying that cash for that hoe, man. Look at the road, the road done went made millions of dollars, bro. He still ain't in rotation. He got a bad ass record out right now. You feel me? You want to go hear him at Mix Show. Get your ass up. Get you some money. Get your promo. Get you some. First of all, get you some straight drop motherfucking work. For real. You know what I'm saying? And go out and look like the niggas that's making money. Stop competing with the niggas that in North Dallas or West Dallas, my nigga. Open up your motherfucking mind, man. I'm competing with niggas that's making millions of dollars. That's who I study. That's who I got all my artists looking like. I Ain't no local covers or none of that shit going on, man. I need to be looking like the niggas who bag I'm trying to go get. You know what I'm saying? And these niggas, is, they need to get their motherfucking mind together, man. But that's why I'm spitting this shit on this motherfucking shit, man. It's like, ain't nobody going to say it. If I get blackballed for saying it, then that's just what that is. You can't stop me. Y'all already black. They, they blackballed me seven years ago as an artist. So that's why I went full. I, I had stopped rapping for a while and just started producing. And they see they still, they still can't stop me. You know what I'm saying? So really, motherfucker need to go on there and, 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 and realize that I'm really the A&R of the streets, fam. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody who really got a name right now, I didn't touch that. You know what I'm saying? And they didn't they didn't took the game that I done gave them, and you see where they at? So, man, listen to what I'm saying, man, and, and, and apply it to your organization, man. You know what I'm saying? Come together, put your money together, and go get the bag, fam. Stop thinking about the right now money, fam. You know what I'm saying? It's a bag down that line, fam. You gonna go through the the trials and tribulations, my nigga. But if you stick together, that's gonna make everything more motherfucking better at the end, bro. Straight up. Do producers stick together? Nope. <laughs> Why is it, what's up with all this producer on producer beef, man? What's going on that? I don't entertain that shit. That shit ain't making me no money. I feel that. This uh next question for Dex. Uh I wanted to touch on the uh project 
that you got out. What's the name of that project? Balance Volume Two. Volume Two. Volume Two. Uh, Ritter, uh, let's let's talk about some of the uh, tracks you got on there. I got a little bit that features Bushy. I have uh, No Ends, No Friends, which is a video that's out right now that talks about not having shit, mm -hmm. how people treat you when you ain't got shit, then when you get some shit, how motherfuckers be on your dick. <laughs> I got a song called Get Off My Dick. <laughs> I got a song called G Shit, and they're just basically talking about bringing back the G shit. Yeah. You know, K-Rock days, Cotton Mouth. When Dallas music had its own sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shit like yeah. There's a lot of hot tracks on there, man. Our original real shit. Yeah. Who who are some of the producers that you work with? I know you got now you're thugging. Yes, sir. Who else you got on there? Spliff Wayne. Spliff Wayne. <laughs> That's my nigga right there, man. Yeah. I got Spliff Wayne on there. Uh Cat named Robert, uh, I gave him a chance. I think it's important to uh, fuck with people that ain't just on like that, cause you know you got a lot of talent around here just not seen. Yeah. Uh, he did no ends, no friends for me. But them, them basically the three people I have on my album. I really fuck with Thuggin because uh, his sound is universal to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you know, you go to certain people for certain shit. You know, you might get a trap beat from here. You might get a realistic beat from here. Shit, you can get all that shit fucking with Doug. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Mm -hmm. So, that's what that is. Oh, uh, Ritter. Uh, who are some of the artists you worked with on there? I got Bushy on there. Uh, Kizzle. Kizzle, my nephew. Shout out to Kizzle. I got uh, Young City. Young City, man, y'all gonna love him, man. That nigga right there got some music. He, he young. But he on a different level than the young niggas that's out right now. So shout out to him. You know, that's pretty much it. I keep it in my camp. Uh I meet I'm meeting a lot of new uh I'm meeting a lot of people that's out right now. Yeah. And things like that, but I really just stay within my camp with what I do. I can dig that, I can dig that. Uh how important is it to you to uh Keep keep that formula of, of of real, you know what I'm saying? Like when I when I heard heard your music, man, it uh it don't sound like no, you know, none of this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Not knocking anybody else, but you know what I'm saying? It your shit don't sound copied, bro. It sound like it's authentic, yeah. organic. You know what I'm saying? How important is that to you, bro? <clears throat> That's very important. Uh, a lot of shit out here now, it be jamming, but it sound like Atlanta or somewhere else. Uh, my my music, it was supposed to be out, I feel like, a long time ago, doing your DSR days, shit like that. But uh, I got off and I had a family and shit like that, so my, ch my style never changed. So that's what I stick to, because right now, niggas paying money for shit ain't teaching you shit. Motherfucker ain't doing nothing but teaching you how to go to the mall, spend all your motherfucking money. That's all that's going on with it. So I come through with some shit telling you about your friends, how you ain't got them motherfuckers when you ain't got no money. Hmm. You feel me? I talk about the shit that I teach my kids, the things that really matter in life, you know, to uh, loyalty, you know, looking out for your mother, getting them good grades so that you can go to the NFL, not be like these other dumb motherfuckers in the NFL that got the money, but then fucked it up behind trouble, you know? Shit like that. That music, man, it, it is a tool. Repetition is the father of learning. If you put music out and that shit steady saying this, 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 and that, motherfucker gonna go do that. And I know that. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Dig so, uh, I take responsibility in my music. If I give you a CD, I wanted to teach you something. My first album, I told my son, uh, if you make $10, put up five. Put up five of it at least. Yeah. You feel me? And, and uh, my son to this day, this nigga 10, he got about $80 put up right now. <laughs> Real shit, so 
That, that's what I do, man. That's what I bring to the game. Uh, really? Uh, where, where can they find your project at? You can go. Uh, you can go to Motown. Uh, my nigga Bushy got it. Or you can fuck with me in the barber shop. I cut her too. You probably know me from that. You can go to Big T, New Era up there at Diamond, D Spot. You can go to Plaza now. Fuck with my nigga Bubba. You feel me? You can go to the South. You can go to Indy Connections. My nigga Win Wiz. He got my shit on there. Been down with a nigga from day one. Uh, really? Uh, really, man. Hey, thugging, man. So what? Y'all, you got any last shout outs? Uh, God first. Hey, Amen. That's the only motherfucker that had my back. And the people he put around me. Everybody else. You see that finger? <laughs> Squad motherfucker. <laughs> now you thug. Hey, and if they, uh, if they, ser- let me, uh, I wish we could put some shit on the bottom. Serious inquiries only. They want to fuck with you on the tracks. 469-508-1208. Call my phone with that bullshit. I will metro block your ass. Hey, before we get out of here, man, did, you, did OJ do it? You say what? Did OJ do it? <laughs> man, that's that bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I know I ain't do it. I'm innocent. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, man. But, uh, man, shout out to everybody out there doing their thing, working hard, man. Or whoever got dreams of uh, coming into this industry, man, just understand, man, hard work and dedication to take you a long way. But God will take your father. Huh. You hear that? Hey, and uh, with that being said, now you're thugging. Uh. Real life street stars.